Van Drunen came in with an uh, even spicier prediction, an ad-based version of Game Pass. Uh, he expects such a tier to be added sometime next year, comparable to what's been seen on other services like Netflix. Uh, I asked I've heard to... that somewhere before. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that somewhere. I was listening to this live stream with mm -hmm. three very, very charming individuals about a week ago. Oh, wait, it was here. We said that, right? Wow. Oh, this you is think it was us? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I have that. to... I got to take the W for that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Call it. And we said, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be ads. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to yeah. I'm going to stitch together a little video of, of us saying that, and then <laughs> oh, and this. So maybe if I got time. And I remember um, reading an article. I've said this like two or three times on stream of Sarah Bond talking about games or ads in games. She's she's talked about this stuff. It was like mm -hmm. we'll check and see where it fits, where it doesn't. So. You know, this might be that coming to fruition. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to no make kidding. another prediction. Can I make another prediction? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be on console first. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. To push like, people to. Ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, just because but when... you, have, you have a captive audience. Yeah. That's how they're treating console gamers is yeah. your captive audience. You're not going anywhere. You can't play Sony games with this. Mm -hmm. you, we got you by the short hairs. So <laughs> you're going to, you're going to take it. You're going to love it. Love it. But you know, what it is the, in my mind, I'm thinking, right. When are you going to actually play those ads? Is it when we get to a cut scene where it's, Oh my God, I can't believe. Oh, there's an advert. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pulp fiction the style. Is the Everywhere they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you'll have uh, when you when you first see your your game menu just before you start a game, there'll be like a uh, 15, 30 second pre roll, maybe a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Just think of where like Amazon puts their ads in. Yep. Not yeah. during gameplay, but maybe during like certain games will have it integrated into pause menus. Ooh. Um, oh, it, yeah. I, I, oh, I hope gosh. I'm not giving anybody any ideas. I you are. I hope I'm not, but or they might be a step oh, ahead of you yeah. on that one. Nas. They, they got that <sighs> cooking. Got it but if, they, right if you if you press pause, that's not bad because then it's like you know you go make a drink or whatever. The ad can just run. Mm. I don't <laughs> know. That's all right. But I, I yeah, I don't know. I think it will happen in game. It still I sounds think, gross, you know. Just after, just after a cutscene, mm -hmm. then you see it for a bit oh, because God. you want to know what happens after the cutscene, right? Yeah. So now it's like if they do that, oh, I can't wait to see. Oh, mm. there's an advert. Talk it's about like, captive audience, you know. That well, you may be, have some gross. some games that are are built specifically to have ads in them, mm -hmm. and this just kind of gives you like a blank slate. EA. saying, hey, Microsoft, you can put whatever ad you want here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, let's say you're playing Spider-Man game, and there's a a billboard. Well, that billboard can show different things based on different Hilarious. demographics of the person playing, mm -hmm. targeted ads. And uh, I'm sorry, why am I, I'm not I'm not mad at that if they do that. <laughs> it's 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 corporate, but at least you're not interrupting my game to um like shove your ad down my throat i can just swing right by that thing it's like oh a new couch on amazon well, what if you're just okay past it. let me ask you this then let yeah, me yeah. ask you this mm -hmm. suppose that you're playing a game uh suppose that you're playing a spider-man game mm -hmm. and you see a a billboard for a uh congressional candidate Ooh. in your area oh my gosh that is what then? so that's immersion breaking so I, yeah Thank you, Nas. The voice of reason. All of these ads, like <laughs> that's the way I see them, is they are all immersion breaking. Yeah. You want me to accept that I'm living in this world that you've created, but you got you just have to take elements from outside of it and throw them in here. Your advertising, your desire to advertise in this freaking game, mm -hmm. is more important than me having an immersive experience. Yep. And I resent yeah. that. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. Other 100%. people might not mind, and that's fine. Yeah. yeah. I resent it. Because yeah. I play the game to be immersed in this, to just forget about things or to enjoy the story that's been crafted so carefully, hopefully, mm -hmm. <laughs> for me and everybody else. Yeah. Yep. Every time you do that, you're taking me out of it. Yep. No, I, I, yeah, I, I will definitely another retraction. I will definitely take back what I said. Because <laughs> even if I, mean, I honestly, do see like Amazon in be, there, most of it's going to be pretty harmless. Most of it'll be just like McDonald's or Coke that's or still, whatever. You know. But a lot of these franchises can't be found in the universes you're playing. Like even, uh, I, I wouldn't even say even in uh, <laughs> Spider-Man, and that's supposed to be even closer, you know, related to you know our universe. Even that, yeah. you know, you, you can't say Coca-Cola. It's got to be Cola-Cola or something like that. Or yeah, Cola-Cola. It, it can't be the the exact same because then it's like, like you said, is it breaks the immersion. 
so yeah no i'm I, for, you've for changed sure, my mind yeah, like, for sure for things like for things like coke yeah the, it's pretty harmless mm. unless you know you had a relative who got hit by a coca-cola truck and every time you see coca-cola it's dramatic for you i mean <laughs> that's always possible right on. very specific you know i'll throw this i'll throw this one in there seriously but yeah would they might even throw in a tier where it's more money to skip ads or not even oh show my ads oh yeah for sure they're doing Absolutely. it that's what it is any <laughs> anytime yeah. you have something you have ads that are integrated they'll charge you the privilege of not seeing them and i always laugh whenever i see that because i always it always comes to my mind like what are you saying about the ads that you're showing <laughs> that you have like how exactly does this show how you feel about the advertisements that you're yeah. showing if you want me to pay more money so i don't see them you're asking me to pay more money for a privileged tier so i don't see the advertisements that you're advertising what does that inherently say yeah about how you feel about the ads that you're running yep must be an ad about bed bugs i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it must be one of those crazy i don't know if anybody else thinks like that but yeah, uh, yeah. every single time i see that like oh you want me to pay more to avoid this ad why you have so little faith in these yeah we it's you're, like, you're, yeah. Uh, yeah i think i think i think Nas has hit the nail on the head though mm -hmm. i think it's the best thing i've heard yes. apart from lord beerus he, he he did a good tweet yesterday which was a very good tweet mm -hmm. about um if someone unfollows you it's fine it doesn't mean you're bad you're still good at what you do like that was a very cool tweet i like yeah, that. yeah but what Nas just said was just brilliant you're immersed in a game mm -hmm. right that is your experience mm -hmm. It should just mm. be you in the game. Why are you bringing in an advert to take that experience away from you? Yeah. I think that's yeah. just saying that is just bang out of order. Yeah, yeah. I think people play games to be immersed in something to to get away from the outside world of you. They want to be immersed in the game. You don't want to see an ad in a game. You don't want to play a game that you're heavily invested in and then you see an ad. It just it takes, you know what I mean? It just takes something away. It so I think it's wrong. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They shouldn't do that. They shouldn't do that. Right they will. For certain games, they should <laughs> honestly, yeah. like for certain games, it won't make that much of a difference because everybody plays mm -hmm. games for different reasons. Like right on. You, you're playing NHL 25 or whatever. Mm -hmm. You're you're so everything. So, I mean, look at the ice service. If you ever watch an NHL game, it's riddled with ads. All the boards have ads on <laughs> yes. them, so it's it's more <laughs> organic to see it there. Yeah, yeah, because it's based yeah. on our world, right? Like, I mean, right. you're playing a game in a city that. It's it, the game is fictional, obviously, but the, the city that the team is based in exists, mm -hmm. so it makes sense, right? Yeah. Just like if you were watching a hockey game, you'd see commercials in between. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's yeah. more fine. But like, think about your favorite game. Think of like uh, a very story-driven, immersive experience. Say Hellblade Two, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where the hell would you see an ad in there that would be appropriate? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> Where the hell would you find like <laughs> all of a sudden? <laughs> All of a sudden, you're 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 playing this game, and you see a box of craft dinner. That's going to take you out of it a little bit. You're going to see that and be like, "That's weird. That shouldn't be there." Oh my goodness! The only way I can see it working is if it's an Easter egg, and it's just in there because the devs were having fun. Right? Exactly. Yeah. No. <laughs> right. Imagine on. that you're in you're in Valhalla, immersed in it, and all of a sudden you see an ad on something like completely irrelevant. Yeah. yeah Amazon Prime now. Come... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like... Yeah. 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 <laughs> And the and the the ad would be for Vikings the series, you know, the TV show. Yeah. But even still, it doesn't it does not work. Oh, just say that it just takes it away, doesn't it? Yes. Just say it's, that you're like. Honestly, yeah. it's funny. It's really funny to think about. And if they ever decide to do that, I'm just going to make videos pointing out how ridiculous it is and laughing about it. So go ahead and do it. I'll find a way to, to have fun with it. Right on. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the Casual Consumers live stream every Saturday.